we were very happy to be able to assist the government in bringing supplies and, and people to Soufraire um, in order to be able to assess the situation. Um, as everybody knows, Soufraire has been cut off both from the cannery side and also the PI side. Um, so I want to be able to go and meet the different communities, Palmis, Wingsville, um, then all the way up to uh, Francis Jacques, Mini, Belfort, Mocha, um, and to get a sense as to what the impact has been, Fongelib, um, and uh, just to get a sense of what has happened and what's the level of impact and what the needs may be of some of the people. But uh, you know, the reports I've gotten so far, um, it seems that the damage has been really limited to flooding and again, personal items by um, a lot of people. On behalf of the Ministry, um, we'd actually like to extend our um, sincerest condolences to the families of the... Um, because we know that there have been some deaths as a result of the weather system which affected us on Christmas Eve night and towards Christmas, um, on Christmas Day. So far, we have reports of six confirmed deaths, all males in different drowning events. Um, five of those um, incidents happened in the south and one from the north. In terms of infrastructure, our major concern right now as the Ministry of Health is in terms of the water supply because we know that there's been an interruption in the water supply and um, the incidence of foodborne illnesses, um, vector-borne illnesses if persons have to be storing water outside of their homes, all of those things can increase after a disaster. So we are concerned and we're certainly hoping that there can be restoration of the water supply in a very short time. Nothing is not running in Soufre. I as a farmer, because that's what I am, I'm going to look for a job I'm not getting. And it's time for something to be happening in Sufre, something was happening in Sufre. What's happening there today, they're concreting um, Smith Street in Sufre. Half of that street is being paved and the other half is left undone. And you know, it really hurts my heart, you know, because I really, in times like this, I don't want to be political. But when you come down here and you see some things, you just really have to question what is going through people's minds. That the foundation or the council would be building a road to a prominent politician's home. Only halfway down the road, and instead of using that funds to build the wall higher, which would have protected the entire community. And then when you see a community having to do self-help, and meanwhile the council members are working on a person's private property, um, you know, one really begins to question what is going on down here in Sufer. Um, up in the Palmese area, the washrooms are still not working. Um, you know, it's just very discouraging that even basic things beside the, the, the storm that are still not functioning here. Um, and obviously the people in Fonse Jacques, um, who head up there right now, um, are in bad shape. I mean, some people are saying it's almost as if it was Tomas all over again. I know that by many, it was a landslide. Um, so we'll see what's going to happen. But, um, you know, it's very discouraging. It was very encouraging in one sense that um, the, the damage was limited but it's very discouraging to see the priorities that are being placed on the, the, the furtherment of the, of the community here. I mean, as I said, I think a lot of the, um, 
protective measures that were put in place work. The new, the new bridges work. They're high enough so they didn't contain, but as I said, they're, the wall, the retaining wall on the river um, to prevent the water from coming into Wingsville didn't happen. A lot of the debris that was going through Wingsville was debris that's been sitting there for a very long time. Um, and even today, when you're going around and seeing basic cleanup, I mean, if it was to start raining again tomorrow, we would be back into the same problems we have because the emphasis and the priority that the cleanup seems to be having, it doesn't seem to be very, very high. But I, I am very, very happy um, that there does not seem to be any loss of life um, and that the loss of private property seems to be very minimal as compared to other parts of solution that we've been in. I mean, uh, Dexaw, Mark, um, Canaries, um, you know, those places got really hurt badly and useful. Enough, you can mm -hmm. go back and do everything from the landscape. They are yeah. little, little by little, little by little. And also taking care of your, 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 your family. So it's, 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 it, it, it takes more time to recover. Yeah. by water, like our beds, uh, cucumber, they juice, um, pumpkin, and of course, that is all. From experience, you can see, like before, I already see the damage here. Eh? Sometimes about five feet, four feet, even in the, in the road, like coming up, so I, there are places I would cover you, right? There are places like get you like you can answer your belly. Well, trough, trough, okay, trough. Remember, I was a cooking. So, we is about two, two Sunday. I had there. That's Bali had there. That's Bali. Two Sunday, need Bali. No, we're not shy, blow. So, that's Bali had there. The rapid from the people from a whole distance. So, we have no boot, no boot life here. So, the people from forest here, two blue ones, they know I need a bar. So, we just need to eye had there. Just time with the sequence of the no memes here, tea. And tea helping hand. Environment is like at least reduce on the sacqua no chemical. It's all hope. Open sequence at least. That's where you know less. It's not a no boozer. The experience is now climate, the climate has changed and from time to time 
our farmers and of course St. Lucians will be experiencing that type of negative impact with regards to storms, hurricanes and droughts. As a, as a government at the time, we felt it was necessary to put some measures in place to assist our farmers whenever they would be experiencing that type of unfortunate situation. Um, one of the things that we started doing was to explore the possibility of trying to get some type of crop insurance for, um, for agriculture. Um, one would, uh, would remember that the, the first time, well, one would remember that the only time that farmers have had coverage with regards to insurance was during the time of the heydays the of the banana industry. And what we did was to engage ICA to assist us in trying to see how we can give that, that type of support to our farmers. Because the reality is that you cannot rely on government each time uh, a situation like that arises. And, and government don't have the resources to all the time to assist the farmers. Based on discussions we had with farmers at the time, they were all embracing the idea of some form of insurance. We started the process. In fact, we had already identified some possible agent to, to assist us in, in, in coming up with some type of system that would assist our farmers. I don't know what the situation is like to date with regards to that type of support. Um, I don't know what the situation is like to date with that with regards to continuing that type of program, but I think it's necessary um, for any government to engage the farming community with crop livestock, whatever it is maybe, with some form of insurance that will assist them to overcome that type of situation. All the irrigation and about 15,000 tomatoes planted, 8,000 peppers, watermelon, the pump, the most important thing, the pump gone to all my irrigation, all my kind of irrigation setup. Yes, the tomato is already over about $40,000. My irrigation itself is over, I'll say over $100,000 worth. Everything went down the drain, everything went down the drain. We had farmers with 20, um, 15,000 plants tomatoes. Farmers with cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, just name it, cucumber, and the water just passed through that. The river just burst its banks, and that was it. And we lose everything. Everything went down to the sea. We, we, um, we still waiting. We still try to weigh our options. But at the end of the day, we still have to begin again. We have to go on. We're hoping that we're going to get some help from maybe government or some agency. But at the same time, we have the library credit union who, um, who has been working with us. They have been working with us all the time. They want to pay our farmers for us. So I guess we will have to approach them and to get something going. I'm sure we're going to get something going with them because I know, I know um, the manager is willing to help. Yes, by all means, we have to move because we have loans to pay. We have, we have to continue eating. So I know they will help us because they have been helping. So I'm sure for the library credit, we're going to get some support from them in terms of our small loans and so on, so farmers can begin the process again. We need some drainage, real heavy drainage now to get all of this sealed out, the water run. You want to begin as soon as possible. What affects me is the rain that fell there, and I see in well the rainfall, and we don't have this sitting place in Francesia. There's no way to go up in my place where I'm living. And I expecting Mr. Harold Dalson as soon as the things happen, they will come and send it back. Even though we don't have trucks and whatever to move the soil in the road, but send something to clear the roads because at the back of where the thing happened, there's a lot of people living there. And I'm not, I see the fellow, he don't even reach right where the things happen. And look, the man, we don't even support Mr. Shastley come everywhere in Fonseca searching 
for people where they live in, where whatever was wrong with them. So I don't have a choice to support Labour Party again. I mean, my choice right now, they even say, even though I say I'm not voting, I will vote, but I will support Mr. Alan Chastney for now on because he's the man I see him that come in and see us for now. Because the man I base on is Mr. Harold Dahl, so I don't know Chastney. And he'll reach halfway, he'll come and support us.